Details tonight in a three-decade mystery of famous painting stolen from the U of A's Museum of Art in 1985 was found in New Mexico. Authorities still don't know who took it, how many times it changed hands, but as Nine Your Size Max Darrow reports, folks at the museum are just thrilled they are getting their painting back. Inside the University of Arizona's Museum of Art, you'll find it all. Sculptures, statues, paintings. But this story is about one painting you won't find hanging on the wall. It was this wall where Willem de Kooning's woman ochre disappeared from nearly 32 years ago. As I understand it, two people came to the museum. The man and woman proceeded up the stairs, and at that moment, the woman stopped the security guard to talk to her about the painting that was in the stairwell. The man went ahead and went upstairs. The gentleman um, cut the painting out of the frame, we believe, with, with some sort of blade. After a short time, the man came back down the stairs, and then the man and woman left the building. 1985, the de Kooning masterpiece gone without a trace until an August 2017 phone call. It was a man who purchased some art at an estate sale in New Mexico, and he said he thinks that he had the piece. So I told him, you know, please start sending me photos, and immediately he started sending me lots of detailed images, and I just kept becoming more and more convinced that it was the painting. And once they got their hands on it, they put the painting on top of its old stretcher. We were able to match it up perfectly. It was, I mean, it fit like a glove. This work is an important part of the abstract expressionist movement, which is, you know, the quintessential American art form. So we're, we're so thrilled that that this is going to be back in our collection. Some estimate the painting is worth more than $160 million. However, Miller and Haggard say it's not about a dollar value. The importance lies within its cultural and educational value. But still, the mystery, who stole the painting? UAPD and the FBI are certainly going to, to do what they need to do. Um, right now, our foremost concern is to work on the conservation of the artwork and, and get it back on display. Considering the painting was gone for more than three decades, they say the condition it's in is incredible. They've got a lot of conservation work ahead of them, though, and Guy Stelly, you know, it's going to be a while before people will get to actually go see the painting. Uh, however, uh, I asked them where it'll hang mm -hmm. when it comes time. I said, is it going to hang in that same spot on the wall? She smiled. She said, that plan hasn't been discussed yet, <laughs> but wouldn't that be a trip to see it in the exact same spot? Oh, my God. I can't believe it's worth almost $160 million. I know it's an estimate, but wow. It's expensive, but that's the price of some great art. Thank you, Max.